you join us here today for another C63 convertible. Slightly different to the previous installation, this one's getting a whole host of carbon goodies stuck onto it. So what do we have in store? Well, Sam's already working on the front end, it's very efficient. Can't keep him away from cracking on in, on a Monday morning. So we're having a lot of carbon fiber on the front end, some bits and pieces on the side, as well as obviously the back end to match it and tie it all in together. You'll have to wait and see exactly how all this comes out before I start telling you what we're gonna put on, but it's gonna be quite exciting. There's a really nice bit of the back end that actually this is the first that we have in and the first that we're actually fitting for this particular part. You'll have to wait and see, but it's gonna be exciting. So this is a facelift car. So from the front end, it's actually not a great deal of difference. The only real difference is the Panamerica front grille. Otherwise the front end's pretty much the same. You've got some slightly different lights and so on, but ultimately they're pretty much the same as the pre-facelift. At the back end, you have a slightly different diffuser, but again, the boot spoiler area is exactly the same. So we're excited to get onto this one because it's a new part. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. You have to wait until the end. So enjoy this one. Black on black on black and some carbon on top of it. It's going to look amazing. See you guys in a minute. So here we are the following afternoon. Uh, this little project on our AMG, or the customer's AMG, shall I say, is all finished. Um, we have fitted the majority of our carbon products to this car. Um, so what I'll do is I'll walk you through. Uh, firstly, at the front, we've got our canard package. So pair on both sides, fitted there, as you can see. Our full width front splitter. So it's a lip that goes all the way over. Three pieces with the strakes in the front. And lastly, uh, which requires the full bumper off, as you may well see from Tim's video, uh, you've got these intake upper lips there. Uh, moving further back down the car, you've got our lovely door mirror caps. They completely change the appearance of the car, tie in nicely with the shadow black uh, side repeater indicator units there, but they're a complete full carbon part, one-to-one -one with the original part, and they fit straight on. So it's probably the easiest part of the job for me. Uh, moving on from there, You've got our side skirts, they're a complete additional piece. Uh, one piece, both sides fit from underneath. And as you can tell, nice little kick out at the, at the rear just to add a bit more width and a bit more stance. Um, lastly, you come to the back uh, where we've got two carbon works first. So this is the first time we've fitted both of the products on the rear end of this car. Um, both of which stand out quite a bit, I'm sure you'll agree. So you've got the boot lip spoiler here, which is our first convertible roof C63 AMG boot spoiler which has gone on rather nicely only held on by tape so nothing intrusive there should it ever need to come off uh, and lastly the somewhat more aggressive complete with rear strakes uh, rear diffuser retains the original exhaust trims fits the standard with all the original parking sensors a um, few fixings added underneath but yeah Adds a whole host more aggression to the vehicle to match its thundering V8 under the bonnet, as I'm sure you'll agree. Customer's already had a sneak peek, he's quite happy. Um, so we're just about to unveil it to him, completely finished with a quick wipe down. Um, we're pleased, customer's pleased, so good day's work as far as we're concerned. Hopefully you guys like it. A like, subs subscribe or share would be very nice. Um, join us again soon.